Hey everyone, so I'm here with another review of one of the bags in my collection. Um, this one is a Rebecca Minkoff surprise surprise. Um, it's another Rebecca Minkoff bag that I have in my collection. Um, this one is really different than a lot of the other Rebecca Minkoff ones that I have and I've, that I've been sharing. Um, and it was actually one that I think was in their last, um, I can't remember, I think the, the fall winter a runway collection. Um, it took me a while to actually hunt this one down because it was sold out really quickly and it was not at all of the um, different de departments. I think it was only sold at Nordstrom and the Rebecca Minkoff website. So after that was sold out on both, I haven't seen it since. And I actually called a Nordstrom store to to locate it and then they sent it to me. So Nordstrom has amazing customer service. So I would recommend if you are looking for one of these and you cannot find it on eBay, that you go and try Nordstrom. Now, that being said, there's not a lot left. So I, you know, there's no guarantees. Um, but I have contacted Rebecca Minkoff about this bag and they said they plan to bring it back for spring 2015. So pretty soon um, you'll see it in the same color um, that's being offered now. Um, so anyway, let me just get into the bag. The bag that I'm talking about is the um, mini... <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's called a um, mini Paris crossbody and it looks like this. Um, it's a it's an interesting, like I said, it doesn't look like the usual um, you know, Rebecca Minkoff bags that I've been showing lately. It's very... Um, structured. Um, if I hold the bottom, you can see that the bag itself uh, stays pretty flat for the most part. And um, if you look at the sides, uh, you can also see that it is uh, very, very structured. Um, it comes with a top handle right here. And if you can see closely, it's made of this um, kind of gold metal. Uh, and there is the ability to clip the strap um, on either side. And of course you can release it, you can take it off. The strap itself is also really unique in the sense that um, it has two of these uh, buckles and the buckles allow you to adjust the, the length so it's even on both sides. Um, and at the very top where you, this would um, go on your shoulder, there, it's like a black leather um, material is the same one that runs throughout like right here but at the very top you have this uh, extra kind of fabric material that has a red lining so it's a much more comfortable feel um, as well as you know uh, a pop of red um, it's a it's a clasp opening so if you push inwards it pops open like that and then you lift it open and it just it's just one big compartment um, it's kind of hard to see because it's all black lining unlike their usual um, lining that you get from season to season and um, let's see there's there's one small slip pocket and on on one side of this you can also see that um, or maybe you can't, but there's a button that releases this, um, the lighting's not very good, that releases this and you can open it further, um, like extend it, as you can see. See, that's the button that came out, so you can extend it. Um, but all in all, you have to be able to be, uh, close this, which is done by just pressing this in, um, in towards the bag. Now, the back has no slip pockets, so you only have that main compartment, but it is really sleek. It's kind of like a patent leather, but not really. It's a very fine leather, and then you have four legs at the bottom. So all in all, this bag seems to be like a shoulder bag, because it hits, I'm 5'1", and it hits me about where my hip and butt is, and you can also hold it on your wrist, on your hand. So um, I haven't worn this yet, so I will give you an update on this, but um, I really love it and I just really wanted to share this with you. Um, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to, I'll try to answer it. Um, I think that's all. Yeah, okay, see you guys next time, bye.